There is a code of honor that unites all the room guard. The code of Will, the greatest king that ever was, and perhaps ever shall be. It teaches knights that they must protect the weak, and that true justice is above mere laws. It is little wonder, then, that the moment I told Sigil the Rune Lord of the besieged town of Dryreach, that he determined to help. He didn't even say goodbye. Dryreach was once a thriving coastal town, bustling with commerce. The townsfolk were protected by a great stone wall that ringed the town and kept out all intruders. But one. Hunger now stalked the streets of Dryreach. The outlying farmsteads had been put to the torch and the town lay under siege. A Tumorok army camped by the road to the north had slaughtered anyone trying to deliver aid or sustenance. Perhaps the Tumoroks came through a portal in the dyers from the swamps that were their natural home. But it is clear that they set their sights on dry reach and eating the people within. The townsfolk were down to their last supplies. The walls could not hold hunger at bay and the situation grew bleaker with each passing day. When the rune guard marched into Dryreach, the townsfolk were so surprised they stared dumbstruck from the windows and doorways. Sigil had run the blockade with ease, his generals creating a distraction while he pressed on with much needed supplies. Valor, the Lady of Tear, went through the town delivering the news. We have brought you food, good people of Dry Reach. Your stocks are replenished, and you can once more take up arms against the Tumorok foe. The Lady of Tear then stopped to give arms to the most needy, those begging on the streets. The great poet Saleya would have been proud to see such a sight. Darkness began to fall, but the rune guard could not sleep while people were still in peril. The homesteads scattered through the nearby countryside still held survivors, people who had beaten off Tumorok raiding parties or kept hidden as they passed. They set out at once. The mage, Yo Guoki, was one such survivor, and she rushed to meet her liberators. But all was not well. Kind souls, my sisters went south to Dry Reach for supplies, but have not returned. I beg of you to find them. Sometimes I wonder whether the code of will was a blessing or a curse. Sigil never once said no to a damsel in distress. But that is another story. <laughs> <laughs>